Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. I have a brand new book to share with you today. And this book is Where Do Big Creatures Sleep at Night? It's written by Stephen and Clifford Simmons and it's published by Charles Bridge. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So, have you ever wondered where they sleep? Are you ready to find out? Let's get started. Where do big creatures sleep at night? Big creatures are active during the day. Some of them play or roar away. But when the sun sets and it's time to sleep, how do they do it without a peep? Do they lie on the ground or build a nest or just close their eyes to get some rest? Let's take a look at what some big creatures do when you are asleep and the day is through. A silverback gorilla is the leader of the band. All the other gorillas follow his command. With long, strong arms, the gorilla explores, using his knuckles to walk on all fours. He builds a nest on the ground or in a tree where he lies down each night to sleep comfortably. An elephant is big and its ears very wide. It travels in a herd with others by its side. Its long trunk could drain a small pool. It needs lots of water to drink and keep cool. It rolls around in the mud for fun, splashing water on friends in the hot sun. At nighttime, the elephant lies down to sleep. It's amazing to watch it get back on its feet. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever gone to a zoo or a safari? It's really something to see them get back up on their feet. A kangaroo can hop up to 30 feet. Its tail helps it balance when stopping to eat. A baby kangaroo has mom's pouch as a bed. There it sleeps soundly and also gets fed. The mom finds shade to nap in the day and at night she sleeps hidden away. Big, tall, and strong with thick brown hair and hump on its back, that's the grizzly bear. In the summer, it sleeps anywhere it can lie, taking lots of naps as the day goes by. When winter arrives, into hiding it goes to hibernate for many months in a row. It digs a secret den under the ground, so while it sleeps, it won't be found. Hmm. I could sleep for a couple weeks. Wouldn't that be nice? What do you think? An ostrich is a bird that's incredibly tall. Its eggs can be bigger than a softball. Although an ostrich has wings, it cannot fly, but it runs so fast it whizzes right by. It snoozes sitting down or up on both feet with eyes that are open even though it's asleep. Wasn't that, isn't that kind of wild? Come across an animal that has open eyes and it's sleeping. A giraffe reaches up high to eat leaves from a tree, using its strong tongue to pull them free. It, really, it has really long legs and can run very fast, but usually walks slowly on the ground or in grass. When the time comes for a giraffe to sleep, it usually does so while it's still on its feet. It curls its long neck and rests less than an hour. That's enough to give giraffes renewed power. Only an hour, that sounds like a nap. A black rhino has horns right on its face to protect it from harm, just in case. An oxpecker bird sits on the rhino's back eating small insects and enjoying the snack. When a rhino goes into very deep sleep, it lies on the ground and curls up its feet. Do you see the bird? Helping to keep the insects away. An anaconda can weigh up to 500 pounds. It is definitely the heaviest snake around. The snake eats in interesting ways. One meal can last up to 30 days. It can be found on land or in a river with no arms or legs. The snake has to slither. No one really knows if it actually does sleep, but it rests in the mud and furrows down deep. 
Whenever a hippo opens its mouth wide, it shows the large teeth that are there inside. Hippos hang out in water to avoid the heat and they sleep below the surface. Isn't that neat? A hippo needs to breathe when it's resting down there. So while it's asleep, it bobs up for air. A crocodile may start the day with a swim. It has long, sharp teeth and scaly skin. Above the water are, are only its head or nose. The rest of its body is not exposed. It can sleep in the mud without a care or float in a river with its head up for air. It slumbers at night with one eye open to keep watch for animals who dare to come by. Hmm, another animal with an eye open. Lions live together in a group called a pride. They stroll on the plains or in the grass where they hide. When a lion roars, it can be heard for miles. Males have a mane that gives them some style. Lions stretch out on the ground where they stay and sleep for up to 18 hours a day. Now that sounds like Murphy. Children like you have busy days with things to learn and games to play. Climbing a branch or zooming down slides or maybe taking a swing for a ride. Then at night after you're fed, you snuggle up in your own sweet bed. Good night. Sleep tight. The end. So, did you learn something new in this book? And what's your favorite bedtime ritual? What do you like to do before you go to bed? We all know that Murphy likes to sleep here on the sofa. And he's snoring too. Let me know what you think about this book on our Instagram page. I will be back on Thursday with another brand new book to share with you. So until then, everybody have a great couple days. Bye for now.